Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a hair routine for you guys. This hasn't been highly requested, no one's asked for it, but quite frankly I wanted to do one. So here we are, um, I have washed and blow dried and curled and done everything to my hair. So if you want to see how I get this look every time I wash my hair and every time I style my hair, then carry on watching. As you can see, this is how I start off. I've just washed my hair, I've had it in a towel and it looks pretty crazy. Um, so what I do is I just, this is a very hairy brush, um, but I take the Hair Choice Paddle Brush, just the same as any other paddle brush, brush, and I just start from the ends and brush it all out. this muggy it's usually pretty smooth because I usually do it in the shower and I brush my hair before I wash it but because I wash it in the bath today it gets very luggy because I'm just like letting it sit in my swamp water it's <laughs> pretty much all brushed out please excuse my face by the way my hair was drying really quickly so I was going to do a full face makeup but I didn't have time because I wanted to show it you whilst it was still wet um, so I've just got a tiny bit of makeup on um, and then I take the Got To Be Guardian Angel Heat Protectant Spray, Heat Protectant Spray? Heat Protection Spray. And I just kind of spray that all over. I can't tell you, I did mention this in my other video about my empties, um, but I can't tell you the difference that using a protectant spray has had on my hair. It's insane. And then I take the Davinus Hair Smoother. This just, it just makes my hair feel so much more amazing once it's done. I literally take like that much and put it all over. Oh, um, put this one on damp hair, it can't be put on dry hair. Just put that all from like the mid to the ends. A little bit on my fringy bits um, and then I just brush that all through again so that it coats all my hair there we go I did use a hair mask today I used the grow gorgeous thickening hair mask the grow gorgeous range is incredible if you haven't heard of grow gorgeous before definitely check them out I'll put all the links to everything that I use down below anyway um, but their thickening hair range is so so good I got a little mini um, hair treatment in my advent calendar and I've recently got the big version as well and I absolutely love it they're so good so if you want some treatments that make your hair thicker or and um, they do different like different sets for different hair type then definitely go and check them out then all we do now is basically dry it I'm not very specific with my hair like drying my hair I don't do it like the hairdressers do it I literally just brush my hair and dry it at the same time. I've even lost, this is the Tony and Guy hair dryer, I've had it a few years now, um, I've lost the attachment to it so I don't even get a nice straight blow dry to be honest, I just blow dry it and mine takes quite a while to dry so I just do it the quickest way possible. Obviously now I've had like these front bits cut in um, but I still dry it kind of the same, I just style it at the end but I do kind of like blow dry it forward a little bit whilst it's still wet. Um, but you'll see anyway. grid hair after that long amount of time of drying it actually didn't take that that long that time but it was already like starting to go dry um i just figure out what this is doing first i just brush through it make sure there's no like major wet patches anywhere sometimes i miss bits there we go 
go. It stayed really dark this time. Like usually my bond is coming back through by like my third or fourth wash. But it stayed really dark this time for some reason. After I've dried it, I honestly just, I, t I take a minute to cool down because that just makes me so hot. I do have it on the hottest setting, which is probably not the best idea. But we use heat protectant for a reason, guys, and that's so that I can dry it hotter and dry it quicker. I probably do this whole routine like maybe twice or three times a week. I used to wash my hair every other day, um, and I've managed to get it to a point now where it only needs washing probably like every three days which is quite good um, I always blow dry it because for some reason with my hair if I don't blow dry it it gets greasy at the roots like the next day it will be really greasy at the roots so, which is so weird I don't understand it at all um, so I have to blow dry it every single time but this will last me like three or four days which is good then after that is I don't put any more product on it yet um, but I take my Beauty Works curler Everyone always asks me what I use to curl my hair and I curled my hair with straighteners for years, like years and years and years. Um, I could never get on with any curlers, I could never get on with any wands. The curls just would not stay in my hair ever, no matter what I use, so I always use straighteners. Um, but then I came across the Beauty Works wand and my friend had it. I tried it out and the curl stayed in for ages and I really liked the style of the curl as well. So I went ahead and got myself one. This actually, I got this one off eBay for like £26. The girl had only used it once and she couldn't get on with it. Um, so I got it really, really cheap, which is amazing because I use it every single day. I'm obsessed with it. I love it. I'm not sure which one it is. I think it's the original one because it hasn't got the little stand thing on it. It's just got the plastic stand. Um... But I'm not sure which one it is, it's just the, the pure gold one, it's not the rose gold or the silver one. I don't know if that's the original one or if that's the newer one, I, I've no idea. Um, but it's really, really good, I love it. it comes with, came, mine came with the case anyway, I don't know what it comes with when you buy it brand new. But it's really good. Then I just turn those on, put it up to the highest heat, which is 220. Apparently you're not meant to put it on the highest heat. heat? Apparently you're not meant to put it on the highest heat because I've heard that it like strips the colour out of your hair. Which is crazy, but I asked my hairdresser and it is true. It like burns, if the heat is too high or you leave it on for too long, it burns the colour out of your hair. So if you're blonde and that you wonder why your hair's going like a funny colour, it might be because your curl is too hot or your straighteners are too hot. Whatever you use. I've burnt my carpet a few times with this, so please be careful with it. It does come with a heat proof mat that you meant to put it on. I thought that the stand would be enough, but it wasn't. That curl does actually take a while to warm up. Um, Sorry you can't see the full length of my hair, but <laughs> that's it. I'm just going to section it. So I usually do three or four sections, depending on how much I can be bothered, to be honest. If I'm going like out or if I'm going to work, I'll curl it like in four sections so that it stays more in and it just holds better. Um, but I'm going to do three today because I really can't be bothered curl it four times to be honest so that's like my first section i usually go like right above my ear for the first section give that a quick brush again sometimes i don't brush it either because the curls seem to stay in when i don't brush it after i've dried it sometimes it needs it please ignore what's going on here by the way i've like i don't know what i've done but i had it all set up really nice and then I had no space to put things, so I've just kind of like chucked things on the little shelves and it looks crap now. <laughs> so please ignore that. And then I take sections about that thick. I do, it does differ as I go around, but it's usually about that thick. Sometimes thinner, again, if, if I'm doing four sections, then I'll take the pieces a little bit thinner, um, just so they kind of hold better and they stay in a bit better if they're thinner sections. But yeah, as you can see there, I just wrap it around. Hold it for a little while. I do hold it for quite a while to be fair. Probably like 15 seconds? I don't know. I don't know how I guess, but I always do it like the same every time, but I never count. But yeah, just hold it until you think it's like done. And I just hold it for a couple of seconds there. Then we drop. Get that curl like that. So there we go. Sometimes if it's like a little bit funny I'll just twist it around 
yeah. And I just go like that all the way around. Sometimes it gets a bit confusing, but as you can see, the good thing about this curler is that when I wrap it around, it doesn't need to be flat to the wand to make a good curl. So when I'm wrapping the hair around, if the hair's twisted or it doesn't look flat, it, it's absolutely fine, it doesn't matter at all. Um, it curls really, really well, no matter how your hair wraps around it. Honestly, do it so random, I just grab a bit of hair and curl it around. I don't really section it properly, I just grab a piece that I think is alright and then wrap it and hold it for a bit. I really, really do wing it every single time. <laughs> I think it's only straight bits. Let's lay it on. Feels really bushy today. Don't know why. As you can see as well, guys, when I'm doing this side, I like curl over and under if that makes sense so i'll go over the curler away from the face look cute i literally don't use any spray or anything on it until the very end but my hair is quite good at holding the curls in like apart from with other curlers which is weird but with this curler and the straighteners my hair does hold very well so if your hair doesn't then I would probably spray with hairspray each section as you go around whereas I don't really need to but if you do then definitely do but honestly just wing it get the curler and just wing it because it's so easy some of my friends when they use it once they finish the curl um, they'll like do that and then they will clip it up so they'll clip each curl up as they're going around and then take all the clips out at the end. But I've just never I've just never done that. I don't know why. I probably should, but I just I feel like it's a for me it's a bit of a pointless step. There we go. Second layer done. So if you can't really see it because my hair does look really dark on this not actually this dark in person. <laughs> I look like Monica. And then I just try and avoid my fringe bit and go again. Again, I just kind of wing it, grab which, however big of a piece I think. It's weird because without realising, I think my hair kind of separates itself into sections anyway because it's so used to being girls. I kind of just like grab the same sections each time. I'm still on this side, I just check for any pieces that are straight. I don't think we've got any. And we do the same on this side. Right, I'm not gonna lie guys, I think my camera's been on the wrong setting the whole time, it's just cut me off. But I'm on the last piece. <laughs> um, if the colours and everything has changed, I'm so sorry, but I think my camera's been on the wrong setting the whole time. But we're on the last piece and what I was saying was um, I think my, my favourite thing about this wand is that it's so long so it fits my hair on no matter what length it is because I, I struggle with the other curls because they're not long enough for my hair Yay! Okay, we've done the curling part guys we've done the curling part these bits at the front always go a bit sometimes I go over some bits sometimes I just leave it as it is but then the... One of the last steps that I have to do now, which 
is something that I've had to start doing since I've had my bangs cut in is then grabbing my straighteners and um, sorting these bits out so I'm going to do that right now these are the new GHD wide ones I don't know what they're called just the new wide setting ones um, not setting, what's the word? the new wide straighteners from GHD I'm going to say that um, and all I literally do with these is just grab my fringy bits that I haven't curled some bits like to just come in with them like that weird bit, I don't know what, what that is doing um, and I literally just brush them brush the brush through them grab my straighteners and literally just go like that now they are way too long to be a full fringe obviously then I can just kind of pull them apart place them where I want to place them pull my hair forward and there we go some cute little bangs I love these because when my hair is up just like makes my updo look so much nicer not really sure how I feel about them when my hair's down but I do love them and my hairdresser has absolutely smashed it um, I'll tag my hairdresser's Instagram down below as well but yeah that's basically how I style them and style them with my hair curled as well they kind of like tuck into the curls which is nice looks way better when I've got a full face to make one I must say um, so yeah literally use them for two seconds um, but I do use these sometimes if I want like a curly blow dry look rather than these kind of curls and um, kind of just like flicky curls or like a flicky blow dry look then I will use my these straighteners to curl my hair which work really really well put them down there to cool and then the final thing that I do after I've finished my hair is I will use two different products so I've got the got to be too sexy volumizing hairspray here which I absolutely love I literally just spray a tiny bit on because it does make your hair quite hard so I do it from quite far away and just kind of spray it everywhere with a light spritz and then the front of the bangs um, and then once these have cooled down I will literally flip my head upside down and just run through them with my hands but I'm going to do that without flipping my head upside down right now because yeah um, and that just kind of spreads the hairspray out as well and makes them look not as defined if you get me that's that gorge love them I'll try and hang on try and show you the length that will actually help just can't get fully on screen And then the last thing I do is just spritz it with a little bit of the Mark Hill Shine Spray. This is a gloss finish. It smells so nice. I love it. And it just leaves your hair looking super shiny all day. I love it so much. So good. Such a good product to get. But yeah, guys, that is literally it. That is my full hair routine that I do every time i dry my every time i wash my hair i do this routine um and yeah i hope you enjoyed it let me know what else you would like to see guys as well because i'm trying to do a vlog and a normal video each week so if there's anything that you would like to see please do let me know um, make sure you do subscribe and like this video if you want to see more of me and i will see you very soon guys bye